This week on Canadian Whitetail. An old friend building a new home who's not filled a tag in two years, and with almost no time to hunt deer this fall. A huge nine point with lots of kickers and lots of history, and just one opportunity to hunt. It's fairly windy, we'll see what happens. One day to capitalize on years of preparation seems unimaginable, but some, some believe in karma. Over the years, a lot of people have asked why. Why all the time? The work? Why is a passion transformed into a lifestyle? Our family's lifestyle? Why does it mean so much? The answer is so simple. All of that work, the scouting, the preparation, is for two reasons. To share the knowledge, the tradition, the love of deer, from those weathered with experience, to the next generation to carry. The other reason? is even simpler. The work is to fuel that yearning desire, the longing for those split second moments when all of that work comes together. Because those few times in a lifetime that it does, you no longer have to ask why when you experience moments like these with the biggest wild whitetails to ever walk. I mean, he's a gorgeous deer that I couldn't be happier to, to take. He's just beautiful. What a fitting end to an incredible season. Dean Partridge's Canadian Whitetail is proudly brought to you by Limb Saver, products that work. Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow. Under Armour, go where you don't belong. Excalibur Crossbow, the most trusted crossbows on the planet. Big and J long range attractants. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. Central Boiler Outdoor Wood Furnaces. Performance and value by design. Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Switch on accuracy. The Whitetail Institute of North America. Slick Trick. The No Excuses Broadhead. Bog Pod. Hunting rests, bipods, and tripods. Glendell the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. And by Duel. Get real with Duel Game Calls. We met Cam several years ago as a stranger, both hunting the same property, which has now turned into a great friendship. And over the years, we've been fortunate enough to share several great hunts together. And Cam has been fortunate enough to take several great deer, both with us and on his own. Highlighted by the gorgeous typical that we simply called the Wide Five back in 2013. The Wide Five, a legendary buck here, and Cam was up to bat. And in the first hours of the season, there he was. Buck Fever won round one. However, a week later, Cam and I were reset up, and this time, Cam made it count. Cam, good job, buddy. Thanks, Steve. Got her done. Congratulations, bud. That's, Thanks. That's a deer of a lifetime right there. After the wide five, Cam had a couple of rough years not cutting a tag since, and in the next two seasons only having one opportunity at a nice deer. Early in Cam's evening, this gorgeous, well-known deer makes an appearance. Though Cam had had a slow season, he doesn't even lift his bow, looking to pass this young up-and-comer. Watching this buck walk away, while well, he took Cam's season with him, putting a wrap on 2015. Almost. Now in 2016, Cam had his eye on a heavy big frame nine point that we had tons of history with. The big nine, not a young deer and a definite shooter. A deer that we knew well, but over the years could never get a good handle on until this year, where he was hitting a lush new alfalfa field near Daly. And now in 2016, and likely seven, he looked better than ever. A heavy frame, great tines and multiple stickers. Cam had his heart set, if he'd be able to hunt. The only downside was that for Cam, time was a scarce commodity as Cam was in the middle of building a house for his fiancée and himself. 
This segment of Canadian Whitetail is brought to you by Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Nocturnal Lighted Knox, string activated, simple, switch on accuracy and let it glow. This segment has been brought to you by Central Boiler Outdoor Wood Furnaces. A Central Boiler easily connects to your existing forced air, in-floor radiant, baseboard, or dual heat system to heat your entire home in domestic water. Central Boiler, performance and value by design. The conditions are wrong to hunt the big nine, but Cam headed into a different blind just to enjoy the evening in the deer woods and take a break. There really is no therapy for the stress and busyness of daily life, work, building your own home, like deer therapy. And shortly into the evening, Cam is greeted with these little fellas and their mama. A few more does and fawns puts a wrap on Cam's evening, and although he did not see a buck, it was definitely a successful day, while well, Steve and I were still trying to figure out just the right setup for the big nine. With Cam back working on his home, we were still in the field getting ready to set up on the big nine, hoping that Cam would have another opportunity to hunt. Well, it's mid-September, we're just getting around to getting this spot set up. The leaves are already starting to change, we're a little bit late, but that's because we're getting pictures of a big, big nine-pointer going up and down this fence line that's maybe only 30 yards beside the blind. And we're getting pictures of him, and we know about the deer for four years now, but we get pictures of him for the last five weeks moving up and down this fence. We had our trail camera there with some big, with some big J. What took us a long time to get set up here is we couldn't decide if that deer was coming out of the east or if he was coming from the west, hitting this fence and going out to some alfalfa. So what we did is we took multiple other cameras, we set some up on the trails that are leading out to the west and some up on the trails that are leading out to the east. And then we put Big and Jay out on both sides. Then we took all those pictures and we tried to figure out which side he was coming from. So now we're pretty sure that he's coming from the east. So that determined how we would get set up here. So we got our blind set up here, we got it all brushed in. We just put out some more Big and Jay here. We put our trail camera up and uh, this spot, I think this spot's going to be ready to hunt in a few days. We're going to get out of here. It's a cool, calm day, a little bit rainy. So hopefully this rain comes in, it's going to clean the area up and uh, we'll be ready to hunt. This is a pretty cool deer. Big nine pointer, great big frame. He's got kind of a flyer off the bottom with his one tine and a kicker and he's a pretty big deer that I don't think guys are gonna pass up. A pretty deer is right. Big heavy frame and still frequenting our fence line blind that was now set up. It was all ready and all we needed now was cam. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, Hunt. Brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. Well, the last few years, a lot of people always asked, how can they always see my one hand being black? And uh, we never thought much of it. And then one of the guys mentioned we should mention why, because we've had so many questions. So the reason we do that is because we mostly hunt out of blinds. We wear all black, so we fit in with those blinds. We stay back as far as we can from the windows. What happens is when you draw your bow, your hand goes right to the front of the window and your skin is right out there in the sun. So I always carry some cow makeup and I always do my bow hand black. We use a lot of different kinds. Some of them wash off easier than others. So that way if that buck comes in, in good light when the sun's still shining, when I come to full draw and my bow hand is right against that window, there's no glare to come off that. And there's no shine out of the sun. So then when I come to full draw, none of those deer are gonna notice that hand being right by the window. Little things like that can greatly improve your odds. You can do all the work in the world to get that deer in front of you. But that's the moment of truth when nothing can go wrong. And it's a, it's a pretty little trick that might sound silly, but it can really save you and it can make sure that you get a chance after all the hard work you put in all season. 
This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Under Armour. Go where you don't belong. An early October blizzard had changed the landscape on us in just days, but the conditions were right. Cam was able to take a break from the house to go for a sit, and he was headed in with Scotty running the camera. The concern was high as we knew our only chance was to capitalize early while the Big 9 was still utilizing the alfalfa, and these new winter conditions had froze the alfalfa, giving us only days before the buck would surely retreat to his home territory that we were not set up in. All set up and settled, there was nothing left to do but wait and hope. After the first doe makes an appearance, it isn't until later that this young buck arrives. Though this buck may seem insignificant, tension is high, as he doesn't usually travel alone. With light fading fast, the young buck looks back. And there he is, the big nine. The big nine passes with the smaller buck in front, not offering a shot. With a stroke of luck, the buck stops and stares, wanting to circle back, and back would lead him directly into Cam's shooting lane. Whitetail Insights, brought to you by the QDMA, the Quality Deer Management Association, ensuring the future of whitetail deer. Well, we all know that a whitetail senses are probably some of the best anywhere in the woods, but how does that deer tie together that sight, sound, and smell all into one in his daily life? You know, there's a, there's a lot of research right now looking at exactly how that fits in and what deer do. And we know now very clearly that deer hear, their sense of hearing, is actually very similar to ours. The so sight, hear, sense of a sight is different, but uh, it, it's not necessarily better from our internet. Deer see very differently than we do. How we can focus specifically on something like I can look at the, you know, your shirt or your eyes. Deer don't have the visual acuity that we have. But what that means is they have a really wide pupil so when they look and scan the horizon, anywhere all the way across here, if something moves, they lock on it immediately. So they use that to definitely detect any type of movement in a tree stand or a blind or anything from a predation end that may hurt them. So it's more just different from ours. It's they very different. to be survival for them, right? That's right, yeah. It fits very well with how they live. So even though it's not necessarily better than ours, it's just very different and it suits them well. Better for them. Better for them. Absolutely better for them. Now the third one of those, that sense of smell, even though their hearing is about the same and vision is different, their sense of smell is way better than ours. 
far, far better. And the reason being, you know, people think the nose is on the end. Well, the, actually a deer's nose, where it can t detect smell, is not just the end. It goes all the way up, you know, the whole length of their face and it's curved such that inside so that the number of receptors they have to smell is just infinitely greater than ours. So what that means is that is really the most important sense for a deer, how they find food in most cases. You know, we think of them looking through here and finding apples or acorns or something to eat. They're not finding them by sight, they're finding them by smell. So almost everything that a deer does and drives him, food related, predator avoidance, all of that is all driven off that sense of smell. And uh, so that's why we spend so much time as hunters trying to beat that part of it because it is just so advanced over hours. Well, a big part of their life is processed through their nose. Absolutely, absolutely. And they have done some testing where they look at how good we can smell versus how good a bloodhound or some dogs can smell or beagles and then deer are even off the charts above yeah, past, what a good dog can smell, what a good dog can do. This Whitetail Insight is brought to you by the Quality Deer Management Association. Become a member and ensure the future of Whitetail Deer. This segment has been brought to you by Hoyman. Portable, gas-free and effective. Clearing shooting lanes has never been easier than with the new 40-volt battery-powered lightweight saw. Hoyman, create your window of opportunity. The big nine had just passed without giving Cam a good shot, hoping now that he'll circle back and present a quality opportunity. Literally in a race against time on Cam's day to hunt, light is fading fast, leaving just a moment or two before camera light is totally gone. With a small buck in the way behind the big nine, Cam's weight is not over yet, just hoping for a shot. As a smaller buck steps clear. We just got the beehive buck. It's the first night that I could sit on a good wind to come sit here. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I watched him drop just over. Scotty's good luck charm this year. That's good. Great at last late. <clears throat> I didn't think I was gonna get a shot because that little buck stepped behind him, but thankfully he moved. But I think we got a buck on the ground. Let Dean know it. Rub it in a bit. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Pretty nice jumper. Guess that's why you wait two years to shoot a deer, eh? I can't believe it actually happened. It all came together. Well, congratulations, Cal. Thank you. He is heavy, eh? He is very heavy. That uh, that doesn't happen very often either, hey? Like that's. Kind of good homework. That's the first time that that stand's ever been sat, hey? This deer has got a, an odd history behind him because we actually couldn't figure him out. He's been, well, he's been back at the farm before. Yeah. Uh, we got a couple pictures of him actually on this property last year, but like two pictures one day coming through. And this year there's some fresh alfalfa out there and he was working that alfalfa. And when we finally got figured out where to set up, we got it set up, but we knew that a couple frosts and that alfalfa would die that he'd be gone back to wherever he's from that we don't know. And then we got a blizzard here this week and snow, so we we're a little bit worried, but everything was right tonight. And uh, you got them. I got them. And that's the deer you kind of waited for, hey? That is, yeah. Building a new house, you haven't had a lot of time to hunt, and that was the one that you wanted to yeah, try a for. A few days of good wind to come sit, but I was too busy with work and whatnot. Some hunts take years and some just hours. 
but they all tend to build friendships that last a lifetime. And we're so happy for Cam to have tagged out on a great deer with limited time. I hope you enjoy your and Sarah's new home. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Canadian Whitetail. This segment of Canadian Whitetail is brought to you by Wild Edge and the ultimate climbing system, the Stepladder. Safely design your climb in any tree, anywhere, with the most versatile, lightweight and compact climbing system, the Stepladder. Closed captioning for Canadian Whitetail is provided by Huntsask.ca, your information source for Canada's best whitetail hunting. Hunt Saskatchewan, Canada. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by The Heater Bodysuit, number one in cold weather hunting gear. Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology. Scott Archery and CBE Bow Sights. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by these fine sponsors. For exclusive content, follow Dean and the team on Facebook, as well as on Instagram and Twitter, at Whitetail Dean. To view all past and present episodes of Canadian Whitetail, as well as new original content, visit us on our YouTube and Carbon TV channels. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, visit CanadianWhitetailTV.com.